Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to draw whiskers in graphite. Now this tutorial is going to specifically focus on how to draw lighter or white whiskers rather than dark whiskers because the technique and the approach there are different. Now before I jump into drawing the whiskers, the first thing that I do make sure of is that everything that is beneath those whiskers is drawn in and completed first. This here is going to make the portrait look more three dimensional because then the whiskers are going to look like they're sat on top of everything else. Now my go to eraser for whiskers like this or any fine longer lines is my Tombow mono eraser and that's what I'm using here. Now my first tip when you are working with whiskers or any fine lighter lines is they're not all going to be bright white. So you can see that I'm now darkening some of them up very subtly with a brush. Now this brush does have a very small amount of graphite powder so that I can then darken up any of my lines. This is really going to help to not only maintain the softness but really add much more of that realistic look because not all of the hairs are going to be the same colour or tonal value. Now when I say tonal value, I just mean how light or how dark it should be. Now if you want to be removing more of that graphite, as you saw there, I'm just going to carry on moving that Tombow Mono Eraser back and forth, being very accurate and precise because I don't want that line to become too thick, but that's going to enable me to then remove more of that graphite on my um, lower layers, everything that is underneath. Now the other thing you can see here as well is how random they are. I'm moving my hand fairly quickly to make sure that I'm not getting everything too structured. Hair is always going to be curved, there are no straight lines, and they are going to be slightly curving in different directions. Now this is going to be more obvious if you're working on a fur texture that is longer, but even a shorter coated animal, something like a Labrador, that would still have some variation. So it's very important to make sure that we study that reference photo closely. Now this rabbit tutorial is available on my Patreon channel from start to finish, all in real time, no sections sped up or cut out, with a voiceover while I'm drawing. So you can often see here I'm pointing at the paper, I'm really explaining the entire process. So if you would like to see this then I will link my Patreon in the description below. Now for the longer lines, just like when we're working on fur, we need to have a variation. So not only have I got a nice uh, difference between the way that they're curved, but also some of those whiskers are longer, others are shorter. This is all gonna help to build up that three dimensional look and natural appearance of those whiskers. Now a big tip when you are using an eraser like this for your whiskers or lighter lines is to make sure that you are frequently cleaning the end of that eraser. This is going to ensure that every time you create a new line that you don't end up with a dark spot at the beginning of that whisker or end up transferring graphite onto the paper. You can actually do that and create darker lines if that tip of the eraser is always contaminated with that dark graphite. Now one thing that's important to mention here is the success of using this eraser really does depend on the layering process of the graphite underneath. So at the beginning of this tutorial you saw that I was adding in the graphite for the body but also the ear on the left hand side here is very very dark so that eraser has to work fairly hard in order to remove that graphite but as you can see from the photo of my finished drawing I'm able to remove that darkest graphite and still maintain those nice white hairs. And this is definitely all in the layering process with how we apply the graphite to start with. So if you're using a Tombow Mono Eraser and you're not able to get the fine lines here, it will usually be because the graphite that's been applied has been applied in a slightly maybe incorrect layering process or um, maybe the layers are a little bit too thick, which again comes back down to pencil technique. Using the right layering and pencil technique throughout the drawing process means that we can then get the most out of our erasers when we come to lift those highlights off at the very last layer, exactly as I have done here. So if you would like to see how I apply the graphite to make these erasers work in this way, then this and all of my other in-depth tutorials are available on my Patreon channel. If you've got any questions about that, then feel free to pop them in the comments below. I'm more than happy to help if I can. I really do hope that this video has been useful. If it was, I would really appreciate it if you could give it a like and a thumbs up. It makes a huge difference to my channel. And I do upload two to three videos to YouTube every week. So if you'd like to get notified of that content, then hit the subscribe and the bell button. As always, thank you so much for watching.